Ants are remarkable creatures that have developed ingenious ways to protect their colonies from floods. These tiny insects have evolved sophisticated behaviors and adaptations that enable them to survive and even thrive in waterlogged environments. Here in this video are some of the remarkable strategies ants employ to protect their colonies from floods. But before this, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's is back to the video. Nest Architecture Ant colonies are often constructed in specific locations that minimize the risk of flooding. They choose sites with well-drained soil or build their nests on elevated areas such as mounds or tree branches. By carefully selecting their nesting sites, ants reduce the likelihood of their colonies being inundated during floods. Waterproof Nest Structures Ants are skilled architects and construct their nests with materials that repel water. They use a combination of organic matter, such as leaves, twigs, and soil particles, along with secretions from their salivary glands, to create a waterproof structure. This effectively prevents water from infiltrating the nest and protects the colony during floods. Underground Chambers Many ant species build intricate networks of underground chambers and tunnels within their nests. These chambers serve as refuges during floods. They are typically located at different depths, with the innermost chambers being deeper and more secure. The ants retreat to these deeper chambers during flood events, keeping themselves and the brood safe from the rising waters. Colony Defense When faced with a flood, ants work together to protect their colonies. They form barricades using their own bodies or use materials like soil or debris to block the entrances to their nests. This teamwork effectively reduces water intrusion, keeping the nest and inhabitants dry. Some ant species also have specialized workers called doorkeepers that guard the nest entrances and prevent water from entering. Buoyancy and floating behavior. Certain ant species have adapted to survive in flooded conditions by employing buoyancy and floating behavior. They can link together and form floating rafts using their bodies. The ants interlock their legs and form a buoyant structure that allows them to float on the water's surface. The rafts can be composed of thousands or even millions of individuals. And they can remain afloat for extended periods, protecting the queen, brood, and other colony members from drowning. Aerobic respiration. Ants are capable of performing aerobic respiration which allows them to obtain oxygen even when submerged in water. They have specialized structures called spiracles that are connected to their tracheal system, allowing them to exchange gases with the surrounding air. This adaptation enables ants to survive for extended periods underwater during floods. Evacuation behavior. In some cases, when the flood risk becomes too severe, ants may exhibit evacuation behavior. They rapidly abandon their nests and relocate to higher ground or other suitable locations. This migration is facilitated by their ability to communicate using chemical signals called pheromones. By quickly and efficiently relocating their colonies, ants can minimize the loss of individuals and maintain the integrity of their societies. Nest Location Ant colonies often choose their nest locations strategically to minimize the risk of flooding. They tend to build their nests on higher ground or in well-drained areas, such as slopes or elevated sites. By selecting these locations, ants reduce the chances of their nests being submerged during heavy rains or floods. Underground Nest Structure Many ant species construct elaborate underground nest structures that provide protection from floods. These nests typically consist of a series of interconnected chambers and tunnels, often dug several feet into the ground. The nest structure allows water to drain away, preventing flooding within the chambers where the brood and the queen reside. Nest Architecture Some ant species build nests with specific architectural features that help them deal with floods. For example, 
Certain species create chimney-like structures above ground level that act as ventilation shafts during floods. These chimneys allow air exchange and prevent the accumulation of carbon dioxide, ensuring the survival of the ants within the submerged nests. Floating nest rafts. In flood-prone areas, certain ant species have evolved a remarkable ability to form floating nest rafts. When flood waters rise, ants will link their bodies together, forming a mass of interlocking individuals. They tightly grip one another using their jaws, legs, and antennae, creating a buoyant structure that floats on the water's surface. This raft formation helps the entire colony, including the queen, survive by staying afloat until the waters recede. Water repellent cuticles. Ants possess a waxy cuticle on the surface of their exoskeleton, which acts as a water repellent. This hydrophobic cuticle prevents water from easily penetrating their bodies, helping them stay dry and afloat during floods. The water repellent properties of their cuticles are crucial in maintaining the ants' physiological functions and preventing them from drowning. Tolerance to oxygen deprivation. Ants have evolved a remarkable ability to tolerate periods of oxygen deprivation. When their nests become flooded, the ants can slow down their metabolic rates, reducing their oxygen consumption. They can also create air pockets within their nests by trapping air bubbles. These adaptations allow them to survive for extended periods without access to oxygen. Colony resilience. Ant colonies exhibit a high level of resilience and adaptability. In the event of a flood, ants are capable of relocating their nests quickly. They can disperse their workers and relocate the queen to a safe location, either within their existing nest structure or by establishing new nests in higher areas. This flexibility enables the colony to recover and rebuild after a flood event. It is important to note that these strategies may vary across different ant species, as each has evolved unique adaptations to suit its specific ecological niche and environmental challenges. The resilience and collective intelligence displayed by ants in protecting their colonies from floods provide valuable insights into their remarkable survival abilities and offer inspiration for human engineering and disaster management strategies. I hope so now you will understand the ways ants protect their colonies from floods. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button. And subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.